Great. <laughs> so, okay, Oscar, you look tired. <laughs> <laughs> Forget that. He doesn't want to hear that. So I have a question. I have a question. When uh -huh. you're like driving these distances and you go under a bridge, do you ever think, wow, this could come crashing down? Only if there's a boat underneath it. <laughs> do you ever, do you ever, <laughs> yeah, because I, I just I saw that today and I went, oh, great. Because I've thought about that, you know, especially going through Cincinnati, because it has all these, you know, it all kind of comes in together and you're underneath these bridges and and um, and it's uh, or the service drives and general a lot of times it's backed up so you're like bumper to bumper through there so you know. well well here a cement truck went over the side of the bridge and landed on a car so so bad. you ever think a cement truck is going to fall on your car <laughs> <laughs> yeah. never never, I never Closed down two freeways because of that. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. It, it is if you're underneath the cement truck. Well, if you're dead, it doesn't matter, right? Especially if it has a load of cement in it. Well, it's, well, it's one of those that... Yeah, you know, that's right. If you're dead, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no. Nobody's going to... Everybody else will care, but you will be dead, so it doesn't matter. That's true. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> okay, Oscar. What? what? What's going on? on? Uh, you know, I never. I've been doing shows for 26 years now. And I've never been. Hey, pretty soon they're going to consider you a pro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> never. Uh, He's a newbie, never 26 been, years. I've never been so frustrated and pissed off and angry and understanding at the same time. I, I just... I I don't know when I, I apply to the shows as soon as the application comes out. Maybe I overlook it, maybe they change it later on, but when I send my application to the show, it was not saying that's going to it was the regular neighbors downtown and Fifth Avenue. Mm -hmm. Then I, I apparently when I paid the booth fee, I didn't pay attention. If they change anything, I just was happy to do the show because it was fitting my scale perfectly. So when I was doing Naples National, another artist showed me the new layout. <laughs> Did you get the link I just sent you through Facebook? Me? Uh, so, I mean, I mean, it's talking to me. Link. It's been the same link every week for the same the last three years. Oh, that's not me. Uh, so I got the is invalid the booth assignment, and my main concern was I don't want to. Well, why I, I need to. Smart? Why don't you just use Zoom? I need to just check in and to thank you, Larry. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just wanted to, when I saw the layout, I told them I'm incarcerated that I need to be able to pull in front of my tent to lo load and unload. And she, I was kind of surprised they was going to let us do that in the baseball field. Really? And, yeah. So then after that, I noticed the weather report, and the first thing I sent an email that I never got respond back was, "How you guys going to do about the drainage of the park? Because that doesn't look right." <laughs> yeah, that's right. So Friday, 
got there. My setup is seven o'clock in the morning. It's not raining yet. I put the unload, put the tent up just in time before the rain started pouring really hard. And I was soaking wet from top and bottom, even the rain coat. My pants were still wet on Sunday. Uh, and, uh, and yes, I want to say on, she moved everybody out of the, the, the infield. Um, she, she fixed the damage that uh, a person that was driving a truck into the field sunk into the ground. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. that's what they had that damage in there. And that's what they fixed. Was that an uh, artist or was it a vendor? It was an artist. Okay. Uh, they have a Mercedes been super overloaded. And then that person got moved to someplace else. And and I gave her prop for fixing that. But honestly, if we had to celebrate that she did that, <laughs> I need to go like a, how low we are sunk so far in the business that somebody doing the right thing, we have to celebrate because the person is doing the right thing. Uh, at least that's what I just, in my head, at least that's what I'm expecting that person to be doing. Um, there's a lot of people with the art center. Um, from what I heard, they say they do, there's a new city ordinance put in place. They only allow the show to go on in one day in Fifth Avenue. Some people say that that's based on Patrick, the last director, I respond to him. I also heard that people uh, they didn't pull out mm -hmm. the permits on time to get the show in, in the right place. They also heard that it was cheaper for them to do it in the location now. That was a better way to save money for them. Cheaper? So, cheaper. So everything yeah. that I heard, everything that I heard was to benefit the art center, nothing to do with the artists. The layout, of course, is the street, a parking lot, the park, the baseball field. It feels like a four little shows put together. From listen to people walking the show, was saying like a this is so disorganized. I don't know where to go, not to go. I heard. I, I heard that, oh, I'm surprised that the field is dry. I was expecting it to be a mud bath. And, you know, I I kind of blame Sue for any of these things because she came late in the game. But God, I... Yep, you're coming in. <clears throat> I've never been so frustrated with a, with a show in general. And and the part that bugs me, me is like a, everybody they is celebrating what she did. They got moved to the street, or they or they're in the street, but you didn't see anybody in the park being happy about the situation over there. Uh, yeah. And what show is this again? Naples downtown. Oh, Naples. Okay. It doesn't matter. They're all there's like a hundred shows in Naples. Or there's, wait a minute. There's only fifty two weekends. There's like 50 shows in, in Naples. If there ever was a thrill, which there was, about having a show there, it doesn't matter anymore. Like, you know, they don't care. It's only about them. And it's been that way for, I don't know, 15 years. Since so, they threw, since they threw counted, Howard out. Somebody counted, and there were 67 shows in yeah. that area in a year. I watched Sharon from Fort Myers. They count okay. that. And uh, I just don't, you know, I don't, like I say, I'm not blaming her for anything, but that was. I don't, a shit show? I don't see that being any different than any other show. There's all, all these shows have gone downhill. The yeah, great thing this... is, is that you're the one that's complaining about it and not me. I'm, <laughs> I'm the big prank. You know, it's really great to have somebody else. I don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> no, it's it's just crazy. It's just like a, you know, you can, if if you think there's a lot of people in the street. There was one guy that came to my booth that I hate his guts. 
<laughs> Friday, on Saturday, I make six thousand dollars when everybody in there is looking at each other like, "Are we going even going to get people in here?" You know, well, and yeah, and not supposed to talk like that. Ask, I'm, what? Yeah, the, it's 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 better to be sensitive and not say anything. You know. You know, there was a one of my friends is a glass blower. He saw a couple of pieces, and he made six thousand dollars in the morning. But he told me that was not from this show, Oscar. That was from Bonita's friend that they saw me over there, and they, and they came, came over here to pick it up over here. From this yeah. show, <laughs> I, I Saturday they only he only had maybe six hundred dollars in sales, a glass person, and uh, awesome. and it was just. Awesome on Facebook today who was there and said all she sold was a $40 re reproduction. That's it the whole time. Yep, I read that post. Very good post. Yeah, well, they don't have any money in Naples, so they, you know, they can't come out and buy anything. Ah! You know, I I only, it will, I'm closing though for, I wanted to load my load on, and prints for though, because I didn't want to, I want to make room in the band. So I put my land by 14s with the eight by 10 inside for 20 bucks. That's the only thing that I saw a weekend loan. I got $600 in sales and 20 bucks prints. Just do you know the what? Do you know what? Hey. I, I'm kind of new to this forum. And um, I've only been doing art shows for about three years now. So I still consider myself a newbie. You are a newbie. <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's it's kind of the luck of the draw, right? I mean, you know, you do these shows, you don't know what you're gonna. Well, you're gonna get right. Wait, no, 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 hold on. You no, have no. Me. Excuse me. Uh, all things Ooh. being equal, <laughs> all, all things being equal, a show has to do their part, right? And so right. it's true. We could do the best show in the country and mm -hmm. see a lot of people and still not do well. But right. uh, there are circumstances circumstances that arise. You can pretty much expect rain in Florida, and. Yeah. Um, so those are things, you know, there, there are things that come up, people get sick, there's all kinds of things. And, um, you know, a, no booth should be bad. Also, there shouldn't be like a lousy section uh, of booths. So I, I, I think our expectations should should be that, you know, a show is doing their part by getting qualified buyers right. into a show doing advertising, whatever, yeah, making sure, you know, it, it, it's it goes all, you know, both ways, making sure we're all safe. Um, and you know, I, I mean, and right. But, and again, that's like a, a mutual kind of situation. So right. I, I, I don't think we I should agree. expect, um, bad spots at a show or if it rains, you know, have, have backup. That's something you could have a backup solution for, hey. you know, and, um, or, you know, unfortunately, I mean, shows do have to close down if, there's, you know, lightning and, and, and things like that. And that's the decision that just has to be made for the safety of everyone. Uh, and, but And don't get me wrong. The main reason why I stay in the show is because the policy established when Maureen was uh, the, the director, when COVID happened, they don't give refunds no matter what. Yeah. So the only way for me to make the money was to go there and pray that something could happen. And and I personally, that if I'm paying $650, same that the yeah. person in the street, they have better traffic. That's no, you should, that should not be happening in any show. That's one of the bad pieces about me with any show. Mm -hmm. You cannot have, right. if I, everybody's paying the same amount of money for the space, there should be equal opportunity for me to make the money. If I don't have equal opportunity, you're taking advantage of the, of every single person in that fast spot. That's a cash grab. It's unrespectful. It's insulting. And there was new people in there. There was people with a lot of experience in there. And everybody knew that it was, you can tell everybody was there sad, pissed, and said like, a, oh, well, next show, which is true. But as I and for somebody auto artist says to me you should ask get move yeah but the spot that it was given it was 
spot there was no mark in the map, first of all. Second of all, I will have to dolly the chosen out, load the van again, move to the place, dolly yeah. everything to the spot. Then in the breakdown, I needed to dolly everything out. And we were the back neck. That's not going to happen. That's what I asked to be in a place that I can be low in, low out. And the kicker is people in the wait list were getting the prime spots in the freaking mm -hmm. show. Yeah. And well, that, you know, yeah, Oscar, that's once, a good way to piss off artists. Once you, but once you set up, moving is really a, it's really hard to do. And in, in this case, as I as I hear you say. It wasn't raining in the morning when you set up. So you got set up and then it started raining. Yeah. So moving after that's a problem. Um, Naples has always had that space. It's a different space because they moved the street over to the other side, apparently. Um, uh, that, that street, uh, it, you inter, you interacted with, uh, with uh, the people there too much and, they don't, and we're the riffraff. So they moved us to the other street you know, the less traveled street. And, uh, and, and that sort of broke it up. It's on the other side of the arts center. And, uh, and so that's why there's all these separate um, areas because it used to all be kind of connected and now it's not connected at all. But I gave up, I stopped doing that show a long time ago or any Naples show because there's too many of them. It dilutes everything and who needs it? You know, there are a few people, if you get a good space and you have it, you keep it. And you have a, re a repeat business. Well, that's one thing, but the rest of us, it's a problem. And the other thing is, it, let's say the weather's nice. If it's ninety degrees, which it was uh, one, uh, one time or a few times when I did it, the street is really hot. The actually the park is better because of the the trees. Now where you are, that's that's terrible because there's no trees, there's no shade, there's no nothing. So you're going to get the weather no matter what. But if you're in the trees and it's really hot, then actually, actually, it's 20 degrees cooler there than it is out on the street. You fry on the street. The other way, if it's in the 60s or 70s, then it's better to be on the street. So you're flipping a coin. Personally, I, I don't need to make that decision. I have enough problems as it is. And so I don't need that. You know, I, I just stay away from Naples. There's okay. a good story. Mike, where are you located? What? Oh, are you asking me? Yes. Where oh, I'm are sorry. you? I'm, I'm just outside of Chicago. Okay. Do you yeah. go to Florida? No, I've show? never. I haven't done an outside an out of state show yet. I applied to some this year. Um, What's your I, medium? I, photography. Well. Have we convinced you that maybe Naples area is the right area? <laughs> you know what? You know, you know what? as Oscar was talking, I, I grabbed my notepad and made some notes. Uh, stay away from Naples. <laughs> that, well, now, that's, that's funny, Bonnie. Anybody because it's different for everybody. You know, you got to try yeah. these things. Yeah. Some people, it might be really good. Yeah. For me, Florida means getting out of the cold weather. I, you know, I almost. You know, there's only a couple of years where I actually spent more money than I took in. That was in 2007 or eight, you know, when the housing crash. And when you make, if you make stuff for the house and people are losing their house, they're not buying anything. Those were the worst, those were the worst years. But even if I just break even, which I don't want to do because I have overhead, um, it's better to be in, it's nice to go down there, you know. Sure. You know something, I don't do any shows in Florida or Texas if I can help it. And there's plenty right. of other shows. Where I know you can choose all across the country. Um, Where are you? I, I'm in uh, I'm in Santa Fe, New oh. Mexico. So it's oh. fairly yeah. well. I'm Where's actually going there? to Chicago for Old Town. Old, Old Town. Town okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. That would be the only one I would do too. Yeah. Um, and then trying to get in that show, and uh, I can't get in there. Right. Well, so you're a newbie. Not yet. Anyway, you're a newbie. Did you have another job before you started doing this? Well, I just retired from the telecom industry last September. Oh, so you got money. Doing, so Congratulations. You yeah. But I was <laughs> doing the art. I was doing art shows part time while I was working and decided I'm going to do it full time starting this year. So. Um, so how many shows have you done? Well, last year I did 10 and that was a lot for me. That is a lot. Very, very busy. Yeah. For me. Yeah. For some uh, of us. Yeah. You know, I, I don't I don't. 
I don't That's have an interest in doing 30, 40 shows in a year. It, it just, that doesn't appeal to me. Um, uh, so, you know, if I do 15, 10, 15, I'm good in the summertime. And now that I'm retired, I can go beyond September, right? I mean, I can go and if I want to go down to Florida, or go back to the DC, Maryland area where I'm from, I can, I can do some of that. So, I plan like, on expanding. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. Exactly. I'm retired now. <laughs> Mike. And the government leaves you alone. For you. <laughs> there's you a the show I have they leave you alone. for you. Okay. Be quiet a minute. Please. Okay. I have a suggestion for you. You ought to check out the emerging artist Zoom calls that okay. Court and I are doing. Every other Wednesday night at seven o'clock, they are free, and I think you would still qualify. Well, that was my next question. I do. I don't. I mean, I've done enough art shows, but I, I don't consider myself an emerging artist. But so, what's the? Yeah, do you feel still? Do you still feel right. new? Yeah, I'm still learning. So yeah. Okay, you're welcome. You're okay. welcome to show up and. All right. It's a great way to learn. Okay. Okay. Now <laughs> everybody can talk again. Okay. I want the floor. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's Alice. the Baltimore area. There's Bethesda Row, which is in Baltimore. Yes. But in general, um, you know, I, I recommend when you're looking at shows, go to the show website, look at the quality of the art. And um, personally, I find somebody in my medium uh, and I might email them. If you're emailing a stranger, you know, explain who you are and you're just starting. I, I found that people have been very helpful for me, but I get emails and people will, somebody I don't know, and they'll just say, how is this show or that show? Like no introduction. I, you know, people have forgotten how to be cordial. So in any case, um, yeah, review the website and, um, you know, to me, that's like a, a good base, but Bethesda Row could be one that you look at. I have not done it myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have. Uh -huh. I like the show, other than the the very early Saturday morning setup. Well, that's the thing for me. So I'm 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 kind of picky right now. Um, <laughs> I, I, I if a show does set up uh, the early morning, the morning of the show. I usually walk away from that one. I, I, I like setting up on Fridays the day before because I'm slow and I just want to take my time. Right. So, um, yeah. but I know at some point I'm going to start, you know, signing up for some of those shows where there's early morning, morning. Don't do it. Don't no. do it. Don't yeah. do it. You don't have to. I well, just, listen, right. I just did one against my better judgment. And by the end of the show, you couldn't, no, you couldn't talk to me, and I was dead. I was just dead tired. Yeah, it was horrible. So, what's your subject matter, or what type of photography? Um, fine art, architecture, some landscape, mm -hmm. some uh, yeah, architecture, landscape, right? And uh, uh, let me see, uh, yeah, architecture, landscape, yeah. Yeah. So here, here's, okay. Here's the twenty. <laughs> Next, the, the million we, dollar question: What makes your work different than everybody than all the other photographers? Well, um, I like to think my my photography. I kind of elevate the ordinary. I take um, what others seem others deem ordinary subjects and do some things to it to make it extraordinary. Most of my work is black and white. Um, I do some color, but the majority of my work is black and white. Um and yeah. Okay. Mike, uh, Mike, the next the next uh, step in the series of which just started on emerging artists will be Larry Berman. A week from familiar with Larry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A week from tomorrow, but he'll mm -hmm. be the guest speaker talking about photography and so on well, i don't know talking about how to photograph artwork about how to photograph artwork oh how to photograph artwork okay okay oh, i need to see that <laughs> as which, you know, wait a second um i went through my old powerpoint presentations and they're all based on 
cameras that nobody uses anymore. So <laughs> it needs to be, we need to talk about how to photograph artwork with your iPhone. Uh, yeah. Well, the other thing is that Larry's mock jury that's coming up the end of April. April. 23rd or something? Yes. Larry. Okay. 23rd. There is a charge for that. I think he charges what 25? Yeah. But yeah. you'll get you'll get some show directors. Good feedback. Giving your their opinion on your booth, your presentation, what works, what doesn't. Okay. Yeah. We it's, don't talk does, about we don't talk about the quality of the work. Excuse you me. Just talk the, about your booth shot, your booth presentation. Does the, and does the artist get to ask questions? Yes. Usually, uh, the following week. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. Not during the thing, but right. I, right. Well, that's yeah. useful too. That's useful because um, uh, because Mike, there's let's see, there there's um a cohesion one needs in their jury images. So it's not like they all need to be exactly alike, but they need to look like the same person took them. And um, sometimes, you know, that's an area that could be re refined, you know, as far as getting into shows. Right. And that's what we talked about yep. last week is uh, for emerging yep. artists is creating a cohesive body of work. In academia, it's called form concept. In other words, when they see your work, they know it's your work. And there's a and it's consistent and the and to me the only way you can get there is if you do it over and over and over again you get experience by doing it and then you develop your own style your own sense of your, you know, own, your own concepts your own concepts you know I think well, that I, would, like, I, oh, yeah, sorry. I think it might be part of the 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 issue I, I might be having with my um getting into some of these shows is because maybe the I don't have a cohesive body of work. Uh, yeah. I, might, I might show most of my images is architecture, but I might have one or two images that's not architecture. And that that well, might... I mean, no, you need a consistent body. You can right. have that in your booth, but in your jury set, they should be one. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And, and, like a booth and, shot for the... For, well, for and then, and then you put then you put the stuff that's not from the jury set on the sidewalls. Hey, hey Mike. Well, excuse, but also, like if you're doing architecture, the other work would relate to it somehow. In other words, it wouldn't be it ballerinas, could. right? You know, because that would be just I, maybe okay. a whole different body of work. Yeah. I don't think you'd put in like three black and white photos and then one color photo. You wouldn't do that. No, well, I don't, used to do that. Right? Right? I used to do that, and yeah, I, don't don't mix do black that. and white and that color. Doesn't help you. And, and I and wouldn't I, even suggest mixing black and white and color in your booth. Yeah, hey, hey, Mike, I'm on that panel, and I don't hold back. So, uh, you know, I'll say whatever I think, even well, though I, want I, the could feedback. Be, I could be totally yeah. wrong. Right, I could be totally wrong, and don't take anything personally. Yeah. Although we've held, listen, yeah. we've held some people get into shows, and now I see them in Cherry Creek. I know. And, you know, Cherry Creek and, you know, and or St. Louis. Louis. what did I do? You know, there's enough competition. I don't need these people mm -hmm. uh, competing so, with me. As far as cohesion with images, I would look at shows um, like Cherry Creek, Main Street, Fort Worth, uh, look at the photographers. And a lot of some shows show all of their jury images. So you can just get an idea of what other people are doing, um, which might just help you kind of figure out in your mind uh, a set of images. Okay. But uh, what you do, you need to s figure out something that's distinctive at the same time. Yeah. yeah well, I just finished is, during you know, five shows for the Guild of Artists and Artisans out of Ann Arbor. Mm -hmm. And it was very interesting because I always take notes. And the biggest thing is if you're, you're looking at, let's see, four images and the first three are beautifully cohesive, really nice work. And then the fourth one is something jarringly different. Mm -hmm. It really makes you stop in not a good way. 
as a juror? You know, yeah. one thing I've done um, is when I didn't get accepted in the shows, I would send out email asking what, you know, some feedback on, you know, what could I do to improve my my uh, my, my booth shot? And I don't get any response back. No, uh, and you won't. And I won't. I, ha I, I did that one, one time I did it and I did get a very nice response back. So I think it depends um, upon the show. Or and the it, person. It depends upon the show. I need some. Right. I, need, I need that myself. You know, I need. I'm. I'm gonna need to change my booth around. I used to have a really nice gallery look, and and I went to ease of setup and takedown, and it it doesn't it doesn't look it doesn't look like a gallery that much anymore. So now I got to do something different. So well, my you need a couple of images on your walls. Yeah. Big blown Bonnie's up. Bonnie's talking to me. Oh. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. To Barry. Otherwise, your booth is beautiful. Oh, okay. Okay. You go to the Starbucks mind. coffee cup. <laughs> and my name. Hey, listen. Uh, some one of the one of uh, Bonnie's cohorts that did the juring with her a, a named person said said she couldn't believe that there was actually people uh, uh, submitted booth shots with their name in it. You know, Bonnie. Actually, Bonnie, it, did you see any booths jewelers booth shots with no jewelry in the booth? Yes. <laughs> just empty cases? Yes. Just empty cases. I you know, don't understand it. I can see that. Uh, I can see the possibility of somebody doing that, but it's really it's funny. It's, it's really funny. That's like having uh, pots or glass or something and just having the yeah. booth with nothing, no work in it. I've seen in my jurying, I've seen just a canopy, right. an empty canopy sitting wow. there. <laughs> I've seen that too. They use in and most everything. So, Mike, if you attend the mock jury, not only will you get excellent criticism of your own, but you're going to be very educated by the criticism of everybody else. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Two so, um, who run, does Larry run the mock jury? Larry yeah. runs the mock jury. Larry he sets yeah. it up, but so I'll get Larry, the I'll Larry get the uh, information from you, Larry, on how to get dialed into that. So of it's just like listen, it, Mike. It's just like uh, applying to a show. You send, you give him four images, and then a boost shot. And an right, but how does he? Up, does he? We, uh, we talk about it. Does and he, an you know, Larry. Statement. Larry, tell him how he gets in touch with statement you. Too, you know? Oh, it's. Are you on jury image evaluation? Yes. Yeah, I post about. I posted about it yesterday. Okay. I post every week about it. So okay. I've got two questions. What shows are you doing, Mike? I'm um, doing pretty much uh, local shows. Um, well, yeah, Oscar local. lives in Chicago also. So oh, okay. What so shows? I'm doing some suburban shows. Um, no, tell Hinsdale, us what shows you're doing. St. Charles. I'm sorry? St. Charles? You're doing St. Charles? Yeah, this will be my third year doing St. Charles. I do well there. And they invite me back every year, so can't complain. Um, Hensdale, St. Charles, um, Printer's Row. Um, what's my chart? How do you do at Hensdale? I do pretty well. I do pretty Good. well. 2D um, seems to do better there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, pretty well. I'm curious about Hensdale because the year I did it, nobody showed up. There's hardly anybody there. So it's a slow show. It's, it's a slow show with the hard buyers. So yeah, it's, a, it's, buy it's in a small park setting. Yeah, um, I did. I've done it. Um, I'm doing well met this year. Um, there's some other shows downtown. So it's mostly, you know, downtown Chicago and, and then the surrounding suburbs. Um, I, I got accepted to Columbus this year as far as out of state shows. Did you definitely do? I, I did get into Columbus. Yeah. Um, Excellent. Yeah. Um, but I had. A, to, uh, I had That's to, a had really to, good show. Yeah, but you had um, to what? I had to 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 get out of it. I had to cancel that because I had okay. something something else come, some family thing. Oh, got it. Uh, yeah, but you know, if I can get in there once, I can get in there again. Well, do you know um, that they rejected, <laughs> they rejected just a huge I've heard that number before. of really good people this year? Huge numbers. What uh, Columbus? Columbus. Yeah. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of good things. I think that's one of the 
I've been told it's one of the the better shows in the country. So, you know, that's it. It could be better for everybody else. I don't know what it's going to be for me. I I have to, you know, see how things are going to be for me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I I think it's a B level show, but then that's me, you know. But I'm comparing it to Cherry Creek and Fort Worth and. Sandal. Coconut Grove. So well, it's, it's my objective to get in the Cherry Creek. Cherry apply for Cherry Creek probably next year. Um, I got um, let's see. I think Des Moines. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I didn't get accepted at Des Moines. I think they've got a black and white uh, category at Des Moines, and I really wanted to get into that one. Um, so a, a number of shows. I, well, you know, I've done some shows up in Wisconsin, um, Third Ward. Um, I've done that. I, I, I guess I wasn't overall. I didn't do that well at Third Ward. It was my first year last year to do that. Um, so. Are you going back? Not this year. Okay. Not this year, but I'll, I'll, you know, give it a year off and then, and then, because I'm, I'm actually I've applied for another show that I've never done before here in Chicago. It's uh, Fulton Market, I believe it is. Um, I don't know, mm-hmm. Oscar, if you're familiar with that. Um, yeah, it, it's, that's one show that I heard, but I, 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 I will see you in St. Charles. Uh, and hopefully, I meet you in there. I'm doing. I only do set amount of shows because my body of work for X one reason doesn't sell so well. And, and if I do a lot of shows in the area, I don't do as well. So basically, I live myself to St. Charles. 57th Street. You know, I think I met you before, Charles. Well, I'm looking at you. I think I met you before. Have you ever done LaGrange? Yes. Okay, I think I might have met you at LaGrange. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. a, I'm yeah. the first booth nearby to yes. the park. Yes, yes, I do remember yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was, was, was Oscar nice to you? Yeah, he was nice to me. He thought I, he thought I was a customer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, I... I if I know that you're an artist, but if it's uh, one of my friends, I will shoot them out. If you're a new artist, I will help you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He says that yes. now. No, you you can ask. What is his name? I was on a scouting expedition when I when I went up to LaGrange because um, I live in Bolingbrook. So, um, you know, so I, I was I, I wanted to check out the show before I applied, you know, and um one thing I haven't applied to it. So testimonial. Oscar's a really nice guy. Oh yeah. 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 What's in believe it or not, is uh if the people like your work, they will buy it. And so was been a blockbuster show, but I don't know well enough that that now I can make as good as money as uh, one of the HOs in there. So it, it goes up and down, but I, I knock and wood, I don't have a bad show yet in there in a yeah. long, long time. Yeah. Like even with rain, I still make at least a grand. Yeah. So, one, and that was when Aaron was running the show. One local show that kind of puzzles me is the Naperville Fine Art Fair in September. I, I apply. That's because... Right. Well, I did. I mean, I got accepted one year and then haven't been able to get back in there. Well, that's oh. normal. Yeah. Listen, some of these shows you get in once and then five years later you get in again. That's yeah. normal. Rejection is the, that's the most common thing, getting yeah. rejected. Yeah, that's why they say not to take it personally. Yeah, and I don't. I mean, you know. I take it all personally. I can't. <laughs> I can't get into them all, but uh, I think what I want to do is start uh, fine tuning what shows I get into more. You know, more finely tune what I what shows I apply for for next year. Uh, well, you can't count shows. on anything, and right. not only can you not count on which show you get into or not get into. One year it could be really good, and the next year it might not be so good. Florida is a really good example of that because people uh, are visiting, so. You know, on some weekend, you might have people that are on vacation there and they end up buying something. And then the next weekend, it's different people that are there. So it, it changes or the next year, it, it, it kind of changes. So you almost can't count on it yeah. uh, being really good or being really bad. So it's just a matter of over time. Right. You know, right. 
Do you, Mike, do you keep a mailing list at all? I do. Good. I, I because have, I, um, I do like free, a free print giveaway um, on, for my shows. And then you know, in order for the person to enter in my giveaway, they got to, you know, they give me their email address. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so I build up a, ma a mailing list. Um, That's fantastic. I've done the one of a kind shows. Geez. Actually, I started out doing one of a kind shows here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's kind of like the granddaddy show of the year <laughs> here. But um, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I constantly build, build up mailing lists. Because uh, Yeah, I'm a big believer in the mailing list because yeah. there it might take somebody several times to see your work. Yeah. And um, and because you're doing local shows, you might see the same people at different shows, I imagine. Yes. And I do have I do have a following. People do. You know, they want to see my schedule. They come in to see my work you know, come in and say, well, you know, I was at um, Lakeview East uh, last summer and I saw you there and I wanted to come back mm -hmm. and see what new work you had, those kinds of things. So, you know, build, I'm building up the rapport. Yeah, good. What, so what's your website? Um, ThirdEyePhotographic.com. Is three it the... R, three R-D. Oh. E-Y-E Photographic.com. Okay, now you have to say it again for me. <laughs> three Y three R D E Y E Photographic P H O T O G R A P H I C dot com. Dot com. Yeah. Hey Bonnie. Yeah. Are are you gonna be like at any of the guild events? Like are you gonna be in Birmingham just to come and hang around? I want to. <laughs> well, I want you. I want you to also because I'm going to be there, and I want to. I want to run into you. So he needs a booth sitter. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I don't, <laughs> that's not why, Larry. Stop. <laughs> hey, Excuse if Bonnie me, wants I... to sit in my booth, Bonnie can do whatever she wants in my booth. She's I, I need special. to. I need to go. I'm sorry. I have a an important call. But um, bye, Allison. Bye. Bye, bye Allison. Bye, Allison. Nice, to, my, nice to meet you, Mike. It bye. was brief but brief. Yes. <laughs> Brief, brief. <laughs> so just in general, this is my first call. So so what is the format of these calls? It's just what we're doing now. <laughs> yeah. about stuff. Format? Yeah. What kind of, what do you mean format? Oh, so, okay. So this is the format. Huh? Okay, got it. Yeah, I mean, anything goes. Say whatever you want. Make fun of Oscar. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm not going to make fun of Oscar because I know our paths are going to cross again. <laughs> you, make fun of yep. <laughs> you make fun of me i don't care no well, Oscar says nice things and barry complains and that's the format ah okay i haven't complained once yet hey i do have a tip i have a i have a um a tax tip for those of us who sometimes let the sales tax uh payment uh lapse beyond when you're supposed to um when you finally get in there and and, and do it you can well actually especially if you talk to a human being um you, you can re they, they'll give you you know sometimes they'll give you an estimated thing but if you go in there at any time you can change that to actually that you can revise the uh you know your your whatever it is and um and then income. there's a then they have a penalty and the best thing about talking to a human being is they'll all they'll always waive the penalty. Yeah. So you, you just have to pay interest on what you owe. So if you let it lapse and you don't pay it and you're going, oh God, look at this penalty, call them up. They really just want your money, your uh, the money that you took in. They're really not out to get you. At least the the two places where I just uh, dealt with that, you know, uh, today was South Carolina because uh, mm -hmm. apparently you have to pay within 30 days. I thought it was 90 days even though it was 120 days, but that's something else. But anyway, <laughs> but he was really nice. And I, you know, I looked it up on my phone, you know, my records from my credit cards and stuff. So we went, you know, so we went through it and he revised the whole thing and it was just a minimal interest for a couple of months, you know, as opposed to the, uh, they levied me 600 and some dollars and it was under a hundred. So, um, you know, the dangerous one is Wisconsin. They just take your money. So, and then you have to, you know, they'll give it back to you, but it's, it's stressful when they take money right out of your account, you know, without you 
without oh, your permission, okay. you know? So, but, but then again, you talk to the guy and they, and, and, uh, they just, uh, they don't charge you the, uh, the penalty. They'll waive the penalty and you'll just, uh, you'll just pay it plus interest. So, uh, just remember, just people remember that, you know, since this is going out on, on, uh, uh, on YouTube, you know, other people will be seeing this. And I think that's, that's how you can get out, get away with, get away from that, you know, get that out, out from under because, when you owe tax money and the tax man's sitting at your doorstep or you're afraid to answer the phone because you think it's the tax guys, you know, it isn't as burdensome as it looks like. They just want you, they just want your sales tax money. Florida. Except for Oscar, who looks like, who looks suspicious right from the beginning. Florida was terrible. Sorry about it. Florida was terrible for me. Really? That <laughs> is a bit of ass. They charged me, I paid everything on time, but I can't remember the whole story, but they charged me $50 more. And I'm always very good about my sales, to, excuse me, my sales tax. Yeah. Did you end up, Bonnie, did you end up talking to somebody, a human being? Probably. Hey, Bonnie. I, I paid it. Bonnie. Who? Yeah. And where was the thing with Naples, the, the lady girl, or whatever was the person saw the $40 print? Oh, jeez. just popped up on my feed. But what was the logistic? It was that off from me, or it was about the same take than me? She was not complimentary. Oh, wow. Oscar, what was the street like? Was it street crowded? With it was crowded. The photographer for the event told me that the only place that was crowded was the street. Everything else it was mediocre at best. Yeah, not the park uh, it, underneath the trees. That wasn't everything. any good either. No, everything. And the part they just cram people everywhere. They, they they could put people in there. And no. The, the layout there's always been bad. I remember like walking, going to see a friend of mine in the back and I got lost at the show and I kept going around in circles. I couldn't get out of this space where nobody, like you would, you'd have to like navigate to get there, you know, so finding it was difficult. And then once you were in there, getting out of it was difficult. So why they do that, I don't know, you know, it, it'd be, it's simple, just Hey, walk around and see how this this flows. You know, I, I don't know. I'm going to move on. I've got plenty of things to worry. I just and, don't. And here's yeah. And here's the thing about that: it's six hundred and fifty bucks for a booth fee, which you know, if it's a corporate thing, that's not a lot of money for. But for us, it's a lot of money. The booth fee is high, so it's a premium booth fee. And you would think that if you're paying a premium booth fee, you should expect premium uh you know response uh, you know that they would hire enough people to do it right or train them to do it right you know the, the people that run it well here's and the, the thing and the event organizers do a good job of advertising the show to get people out there right i mean all that's if you have a show oh. that's broken up in a bunch of sections you're not going to get good traffic at all the sections it just that's never going to happen. Um, and, you know, for an artist and for a show, if you're going into a new area you've never done before, um, you know, you don't know what happens when it rains. Yeah. There's, you know, there's places that I've been that I would think would be perfectly fine. I've been on streets that I thought would be fine and it rained. And, you That's know, I problem. flooded my neighbor's booth because, yeah. the, you yeah. know, we were back know, up against the curb. Yeah. I but, know that show. I had the same problem. But, Court, it's not about... the. This is the thing. If you go to the Naples Arsenal website right now and you look at the Naples downtown show, it looks like it's going in Fifth Avenue. They didn't even... I adjusted that. 
let's start with that. They probably changed the thing in SAP after the application went in because they didn't get the permits until December. Okay. At that point, they have my boo fee, my jury fee, my boo fee, and quite honest with you, with a hectic scale that I have, I don't want to check out whatever's going on with the show until the week before the show, which is my fault. I'm going to say that. It's Not my necessarily. Fault. But I didn't learn about the change of the layout until February. Ooh. If I wouldn't know that, I would have never pay for the booth fee because they said uh, the odds of me landing in a bad spot are higher than a good spot. That's okay. the problem that I have with the show from the from the start. Forget about oh. everything else. Well, the other because... thing too is um, there are shows I want to apply to. I will never apply to certain shows yeah. because of their history. Yeah. Or their layout. And... Yeah. You know, this is not the first time I've heard bad things about that show. No, and, and that's that's what I, I say I say at the beginning. The first time they happen, shame on, on them. Second time, it's my second time, shame on me. The third yeah. time, I will be stupid on my part to do anything else with them. So you know, right now, I don't trust them. They say, you know, wait, Barry, they say to okay. me that they, I will get a automatic invite to everybody in the park in the baseball field. You get an automatic invite, you got selection of pool space next year. You know. And next year, they're not going to have the park. They already said that they're not going to have the baseball field. But right now, they make one artist cry because she wanted her pool field back. She told her that the only option you have, I offer you to move. If you don't move, I'm not going to give, I, there's no reason for me to give you money back. Because it's a oh. rain and shine event. And she was crying. She couldn't, she couldn't have, she found other artists to move for 10. And then where they, where they put her is in the sidewalk where the main street was going on. And then and real to the park. She didn't, if I was thinking I'm in the bus, but she had for horrendous. Yeah. Hey, I, I, breaking up. I uh, don't, I really don't think, I really cannot think I can do a show with them again, personally, because I don't trust the our center. I didn't even know his Susa is going to be there next year because she had to make a new contract for that. Mm -hmm. And she was not happy with them. So I yeah, don't well, know I, what she say to me. It's going to be there next year. So yeah, yeah. I get I gave up on Naples five years ago for all the things that you're talking about now. Uh so, you know. it's not so a, is this all shows in Naples or anything like that. Is, is this all shows in Naples or is this one particular show in Naples? Anything done with the Naples Art Center. Okay. I got wouldn't you. Uh, there's another one. There's a couple other ones that you might want to try, but they, it's a, they are not as, they don't have a prime you know, spot like at the ones for the art center. And you don't want to do shows with that guy that was thrown out, Patrick. Yeah, he's still doing another show. I, listen, I don't think they've had a good um, director since Barry Witt left. And not, when was that? Fifteen years ago? Not that long ago. I think so. Well, I did Bonita since. No, no, I'm oh. talking about Naples. Barry so... Witt ran the Naples show a long time ago before he went to Bonita. Okay. And now he's gone from Bonita, and that show is a, It's like a shadow of what it was in terms of uh, sales. That's a from shame. What, from what I've heard. That's another show that is that, kind of broken down a little bit too much. That, that doesn't make that much sense, neither. So. All right, so, folks, I got to go. Yeah. I've got class tonight. Okay. Right, so I drop in for a little bit. Bye, Happy right, Court. Class. Good seeing you. Nice to meet you, Court. Learn Same a lot. Here. Bye, Court.
Bye. So, hey, Oscar, part of the problem here is that people will do the shows no matter what. They can fill every show, so there's no incentive for them to change anything because they're getting their money and and people go, oh, I, I never got into that show. Now I can, now I got in. Isn't that really great? And then they go there, and then they have the same problems we we end up having. So and nothing gets changed. So that's a you know that's a problem. You know the other thing is people won't speak up. You know there's only a few of us that'll say something. And uh, I feel like uh oh here he comes. You know, uh, <laughs> but but it's got to be said. There's not enough people that are standing up and going. You know, going. This has got to change. And 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 for me, it's about you know you're paying a premium price for the space. They should take care of everything in in advance. I mean, how hard is it to do this? I know you talk to David Bjorstrom or any of these people. Oh, it's really hard, and you got to do all this stuff. Well, I think what's really hard is making a, a body of work, packing it all in the vehicle, driving fourteen hundred miles, setting up, tr having trying to sell. And then breaking it down. I mean, to me, which which is harder, having you know an event running an event, which after I I, I, I <laughs> going to tell you, I won't tell you that running the event is pretty hard. I want to say that, but I just think that uh, I would not want to be a director. I don't want to be dealing with those stupid things that artists say sometimes. <laughs> there, there was there, there was an artist that sent to an email to Sue. That it was every single curse word and the freaking dictionary was in that letter. <laughs> they ended refunding her, yeah. <laughs> refunding yeah. the money to the guy, and they told him never apply to the, any of the shows again. You know, That's I wouldn't take that, that letter was. I would just laugh. <laughs> well, it's I. That's I would not. You know, I would never wanted to talk like that to a director even when i went to talk to susan i thought i don't want to be the only one in the park please make sure i got people around me because at that point i knew that i was going to be stuck in there so you had to there a lot of stress you have to be nice you have to be polite you cannot be throwing a gasket on them no no if you see them getting frustrated just be patient with them. That's the only thing you can do. They are human beings just like us, and it's not just you. It's probably like in this case was about a, about 100 artists in her case about this situation in one day. And that's a lot for anybody to, to take. They, they could have done a lot of things ahead of time to prevent the problems. Yes, but maybe she and didn't they have should the right have. for me. You're paying maybe for she that. Didn't have the right for me. You're already giving them I, excuses. You're paying for it. Look at they should have that worked I don't out. Give in, I don't give any excuses. I know that this is a normal behavior for the. I don't. It's not acceptable. I don't, I don't it's only acceptable Sue. because everybody is accepting it. I I know what you're saying, but in this particular case, I go case by case. This one, I don't have. I cannot say anything bad about Sue. Really. Yeah, she's known for. No, being it has very... nothing to do with her. Yeah, it's everything, every single problem they had that show, it was the art center. Because she's, at the end of the day, she's doing what the art center told her to do. And her bosses are telling her, this is how it's supposed to be. This is the parameters you have. This is how you have to play with the rules that we're giving you. And the only, it doesn't matter who it is because Maureen went through that. Patrick went too way too close to what they wanted and maybe Sue's trying to be more in the middle but it's the art center it's not them it's not the director I would not recommend that job to anybody to take you know you know Oscar I I were I was thinking about other shows too it's the committee you know um uh, I, I I can't bring up anything specific because I don't want to with a specific <laughs> show but there, there was a show, and he's laughing because you know what I'm talking about. Uh, um, th there's a show in Florida that, uh, you know, every time I, I would like send the director a note or or tell that person that how that you that uh, they were doing a really good job, uh, they would uh, come back to me and say, 
Oh, thank you. I've had a really rough day today, and I'm thinking, well, who's giving her? Who, oh, who's giving yeah. this person a hard time? And it's got to be the committee or the people, their their overlords, who have no i no concept of artists or the way things are going. And there's and I I've heard this, you know, I've gotten this a number of times lately. I've been be, been aware of it. Like you know, let the director direct. Let let the show do do the show I, you know i don't know how to explain it better well i do not explain it better with but i can't do it without being specific but these committees you know i got into a fight it was i'll never go back to bayou city but just as an example the person that was running the show did a pretty good job the you know the the direct the um the executive committee got that the head guy was walking around and i'm complaining to him because you know it, they they overcharge for you know a gate fee and then you can't park there you have to park like blocks away and get on a shuttle to come in which means that if somebody's going to buy something they got to schlep it out to the bus and, and take it out there and i was going this is horrible you know how can you how can you do a show and the guy says to me well i've been doing this for 20 years blah 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 and i said oh so you're a newbie i've been doing this for 30 years you know <laughs> That's my favorite. That's my best line ever. But but here's the actually, thing. I'm surprised he didn't say. And what's your name? I think he did. I, he did. But I didn't give him a chance. I didn't give him a chance to reject me. You know, I was long gone after that. But the point is, is a more artist should be standing up for our rights. You know. Yep. No matter what, like Kurt Flood. Let's take a number in in other in other mediums. When when it when it went from being uh, having to have a second job to actually making more money than you know I mean every field has a has a person that was willing or people that were willing to stand up and say no we we need this we deserve this and uh, but artists won't do do anything the the favorite line is oh, I can't say anything I'm going to get blackballed you know or they won't let me in there you know, is no blackball system in I the know I know. I, I know there isn't. I'm just saying this is what people said. This is how they stop themselves from from uh, criticizing or for or or here somebody said something like, "Well, you can tell us, tell the director, but you can't online talk to you know talk to everybody, talk to other artists about this." And I'm going, "What do you mean? You know, how does it get done if we don't talk to ourselves? The directors do. The directors have their own thing. They get together. They talk about all these problems." You know, but we're not allowed to do that. I mean, you know, it's just it's it's always been frustrating. And for a long for a while, I stopped saying anything, but uh, I can't shut up. So here we are. Well, I just want to oh. be more polite about it. You know, polite. And, uh, You've I'm... been polite your whole life about it. Be polite. It should be more angry, not polite. No, because angry doesn't solve the problem. I'm oh, in really? A... It I'm gets worse and worse every year. Position. How is it being solved, Oscar? Being polite. Every year it gets worse and worse and worse. It, I got a solution for it that. It doesn't work. What you're saying doesn't work. Okay. I have a unique Hi, position now. <laughs> I yes, right. Because having retired from art fairs, and I'm now retired from being a show director for the last few months, um, I still have the ear. I'm still involved with all the show directors, Zoom calls and all of that. And it's very interesting, but I will be the first one to stand up and write a letter. Like I wrote to Winter Park about their issues with letting buy sell in. Yeah. And we had because others had done it, but they all did it anonymously because they're doing the show. One person. So I did it under my own name, gave them my phone number, gave them everything. And they did get back to me yeah. and said that they would look into it. I don't think anything happened, but at least, you know, I can do that now. They're, Whereas yeah, I they're, couldn't they're placating me. do it before. They're placating you. Are they really going to do something about it? And besides, I don't, this, I'm going to go back to her and ask. This very specific thing that you're talking about, which we're not talking about, it goes back 25 years. It's the same thing. 
except that now the uh, the handler is now you know uh, has the pieces. But but <laughs> listen, you'd have to really know. Like I really know the medium, and I I actually was at a show, and that person the the uh, the uh, handler was there with his work. And yes, I don't know if he did it, but I can tell you it wasn't the same quality as the uh, as the other as the other stuff. And if you looked at if you looked at the images, the image like like is he is the person schizophrenic because some of the stuff was done in a heavy hand and some of it was very uh, delicate and precise, which leads me you know leads me to believe that more than that that backs up what everybody's saying about where it was made. And who and who had their hands on it, you know? And uh, to me, that's the a height of cynicism. Because you know, with this guy showing his work because they're, they're giving him awards, and I'm telling you, I looked at it really closely. It's not it's not even close to being, uh, you know. Let's say that the um, that the that the guys that did it before, let's say they actually did the work. This is a total step down from that, and you wouldn't know it unless you actually worked in the medium and actually went up close and looked at it because that's what I did. In fact, I, I, I didn't know who it was. I just saw that the work was there and I was chuckling to myself. I'm going, oh, here's somebody that's that's copying this, these other people and it's not even nearly as good. And I looked, I went up to it and go, well, this isn't so great. And then the guy comes out from back and I then I realized who it was. And I went, oh my God, can you believe that? And that person got into... Uh, into Winter Park. Here's what I want to say about this. I don't know whether he made the work or they made the work each, you know, or it was made by a cooperative in South America. I don't really know, but I'd really like to see the whole thing settled. You know, yes. that's what I want. Well, my, my when, idea... I, when I sent my letter, I sent them proof. I sent them videos, articles, bills of lading, you know, yeah, because we collected that years ago. Right. But Barry, Barry, I'm going to tell you the problem that, that that I have with the situation in general. It's like a, I don't do shows with, right now, I want to say I will never do a show with, with our center. And, I, and right now I'm forcing to go back to Paragon next year if I want to do the Florida trips. But there's some people like uh, Amy Amdor uh, that, you know, if at some point, or Crasso, for example, will be a perfect example. Let's talk about Crasso. Crasso happened, and I decided I would never do a show with them again because what happened in there could happen to anybody, who, yeah. whatever fault it was. And the problem that we have as artists that if you make money in the show, you will do the show again. Your principles, your morals are totally out of the window because the only thing that matters is money. Yeah. And that and ninety percent of the artists will tell you that. I know falling that in that category. I will tell you if you piss me off enough, I will stop giving you money. I would not do your shows and I refuse to do the show because I'm I deal with enough crap in my life. <laughs> to be getting insulted when I give you my money to you. Yeah, yeah, Oscar. I'm with you. And it's yeah. funny because I've dropped so many shows. I'm like, uh, you know, like we've talked, you've talked about shows. We've talked about shows here that I won't do because of exactly what you're saying. So, yeah. you know, sometimes, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I'm going, I went back to Crassel because I didn't think that was as bad as some of the other things that, ha that have happened. Although oh. that was really bad, but anyway. Um, it was bad. Yeah. I was on the phone with someone while it was happening. That yeah, was yeah. right there. Yeah, Can amazing. I just interrupt a minute because I'm going to have yes. to go. Mike, Sandy this is up. yes. This is not. We do not spend the entire time together bitching about shows. We may spend a little time on it, but it deserves it. We're not. No, about that's good. Those. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm taking a lot of this in. Um, but I just don't but, want. But, but but I don't think I don't. I mean, I I, I don't think it, that that this this is uh, a bitch session. If you aren't afraid. Yeah, neither I, do I. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah. 
but yeah, you know, everybody. I wanted, I wanted to get something in there before Bonnie leaves. My yeah. suggestion was to have have uh, people in question uh, give demonstrations. Let's see you do the work. Let me see it. You did. You said you did the work. I want to watch it. If somebody asked me, I'd be honored to come and give a workshop. Hey, just yeah. call me up. I'll come and give you a workshop. You know, because I'm not afraid to, for you to see that I do the work. You know, come on. Right. In fact, I want it. I, in fact, I'll feel like like I'm wanted. That somebody actually likes me. That somebody actually, uh, you know, uh, what we you know, like you. What I do. So if if the if the people in question are not willing to do a demo of what they do, you know, from start to finish, then, you know, and, and certainly Winter Park could pay them, you know, that was, that was my solution. You know, that's a good uh, idea. Yeah. I gave that one to one of our cohorts, Bonnie, from uh, the old days that's retired also now that uh, whose husband was a photographer, you know, who, who ran shows yeah. and yeah, you know, I, I, yeah. Gave, I laid it all out to her too. So she said she would, be doing something, you know, behind the, you know, behind the scenes. So I'm really glad well, you're doing this, Bonnie. Thank you. Okay. I will see you all hopefully next week. Tuesday is the biggest, the busiest day of the week for me. So normally it's hard to hop on, but I miss you guys when I don't. So take care. <laughs> nice meeting Have you, Bonnie. A good week. Bye, Bonnie. And I've got, nice. and I've got to go Bonnie. too, folks, because I've got to. I need to go myself. I we need all to go gotta too. go. Oh, yeah. we all gotta go. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go. Bye. Okay. Well, Bye, thanks everyone. for everybody's input. I appreciate it. All right. Until next it. time. Until next right. time. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.